Now, the fourth spiritual law of success is the law of least effort. And this spiritual law of success means so much to me because this has granted me so many opportunities that my younger past self, my slightly low vibrational self, lower self, was missing, was yearning for, but I was missing the grand scheme. You know, do less, accomplish more. Do less and accomplish more. The law of least effort states <clears throat> when you emit less force, less force, then you are granting yourself already being connected to the law of pure potentiality because you are in that bubble of the pure, the purest, most open potential and, and possibilities to everything in this world, right? Being connected to that and also emitting least force, you will be granted in the grand scheme of things, a more abundant life. That's what you will be granted. And whenever I was living in my mama house, I found it very significant to my journey, to my mission, that I just keep my days simple. I get up, stretch, go for my walks, I, I journal, I write, I meditate, I stream, 10 to 15 hours a day. And then after that, I eat. Okay? Go out for another walk, meditate some more, write some more. I'm reading my books. I'm studying. I'm meditating some more. I'm reflecting. And, and my day's done. That's the most simplest to, to one. That's a very boring day. And I was 18, 19 doing this. Boring day. Extremely boring. But the most fulfilling because it was very simple. I wasn't texting people back. I wasn't, you know, over overextending myself to, to, to go out, to go to the parties, to, to meet up with different chicks. I, I wasn't doing that. Exerting the least amount of effort will grant you the richest, most abundant life. Now, this is not saying to not emit energy into what you desire, in, into what you long for. Yes. Because, you know, the law, the law of attraction, people have got confused with that in a sense where they think that they can just sit in this chair all day and just envision, and I mean all day, they can just envision and look and stare and meditate and nap and astral project and do all these different things, you know, and they could do, do the shrooms, the, 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 the ashwagandha, the ayahuasca trips. You know, they can do all of these different things in their chair from home, but not go out and actually be an impact emitting your uncomfortabilities, your insecurities, you being in, uh, in fear, you being afraid. You know, no, you, yes, this is important too, but going out and getting it done getting it done, getting it accomplished, getting the goal accomplished is also just as important. So you emitting the least amount of effort to your desires, to your passions, to your mission, to your purpose will grant you the most abundant life. Yeah, that will grant you because you changing the evolution of the world every single day it's not going to be an overnight task. It's not going to be an over month, over week, over year, one year task. Yes, one year can change your life. One month can change your degenerate habits to positive, effective, productive habits. Yes, that's, that's, that's a true statement. But it's going to take years of, of compound interest, of least effort, but also getting it done little by little. You read a book every two days you finish a book on two on Tuesday you finish it on Thursday and you just bomb you just recycle it so by the time the month is over you've read so if you're reading two books 
every single every single two days. You have three books, three and a half, that you have started and finished in a week. So you got you got roughly, let's just say you got like 15, 16 books finished in a in a month. You got 15, 16 books finished in a month. Come on now. Now you compound that for the next year. Come on. Now if you got 15 books finished in one single month, you do that times a whole year, you got a hundred, you got like 120 books finished. Come on. Like you, you cannot beat that. You cannot beat that. So using the law of least effort will grant you the most abundant life. And that's the video. See y'all for law number five.